I couldn't leave my Shelby. It's interesting. Both the boys were very difficult births. I almost died when Jonathan was born. Very difficult births. Shelby was a breeze. I could have gone home that afternoon I had a I was thinking about that as I sat next to Shelby while she was in the coma. I would work her legs and arms to, to keep the circulation going. I told the ICU nurse we were doing our Jane Fonda. I stayed there. I kept on pushing just like I always have where Shelby was concerned, hoping she would sit up and argue with me. But finally, we all realized there was no hope. At that point, I panicked. I was very afraid I would not survive the next few minutes while they turned off the machines. Drum couldn't take it. He left. Jackson couldn't take it. He left. It, it struck me as amusing. Men are supposed to be made of steel or something. But I could not leave. I just sat there holding Shelby's hand while the sounds got softer and softer and the beeps got farther apart until all was quiet. There was no noise, no tremble, just peace. I realized as a woman how lucky I was. I, I was there when this wonderful person drifted into my world. And I was there when she <laughs> drifted out. <sighs> it was the most precious moment of my life thus far. <sighs> 